My name is Jacob. I'm a project development advisor here at Custom Built Design and Remodeling. Today we're going to touch on some typical costs related to a shower. We're also going to cover some things that could increase or decrease those costs. We're going to look at unforeseen things that can come up in a shower project. And also we're going to touch on the overall costs of a shower. If you're just doing a shower pull and replace, it is almost never just the shower. So while you may have already updated your vanity sink, faucet, lighting, mirror, etc., the fact that the shower is touching all those other elements means that you're likely looking at drywall repair, new trim, and a paint job at a minimum. So anytime we get into trying to pull and replace just a shower, there are all those auxiliary elements that come in contact with that shower. I want to be really clear that when we're talking about these numbers, we're just talking about the shower. If it's fiberglass, I could see it ranging somewhere from fifteen dollars to $20,000. If you want something along the lines of a solid surface like cultured marble, uh, it's going to be eighteen dollars to $25,000. If you're like most people, budget is a real question and something that we need to pay attention to as we're developing a project. Obviously in a shower, you're gonna have a shower valve and a shower head. That shower system typically can cost between $800 and $3,000. Another element of a shower installation is going to be making a decision between a shower curtain and rod, bypass doors, hinge doors, or a custom Euro glass application. A curtain rod can be somewhere between $300 on up installed. A bypass door with minimal hardware is somewhere in the ballpark of $2,500 on up installed. And the Euro glass, which typically is a custom cut piece of glass, I can see Euro glass going north of $5,000. A lot of the Euro glass fabricators have an additional coating as an option. And this is a coating that will minimize the need to clean that glass over time. And that can be north of $1,000 to $2,000. So obviously in the custom world, people like to push the envelope. There are steam systems that you can put into your custom shower, but those are pretty pricey. I can see those being north of $5,000 to $10,000. You can have not just a shower head and not just a handheld, but you can have north of five additional nozzles blasting your body with water. We're gonna say body sprays are an additional option upwards of $3,000. Grab bars are another major consideration in the shower. They can be a $250 plus option as just an adder to your already amazing shower project. One of the things that inevitably come up in every remodeling project are unexpected costs. So when you pull a shower out, you have an ability to see if there's been leaking between the shower and the floor or at the drain and sometimes even at the valve body. What that can produce is a long-term slow leak that keeps the wood moist. Inevitably, if there's wet, rotting wood underneath your shower or bathroom in any way, it needs to be removed. It could be a hundred bucks to thousands of dollars to repair. Depending on the age of your home, when we get into a project and we find that the drains are corroded or rotting, Again, uh, several hundred dollars to thousands of dollars. You're likely wondering about a particular project you might have in mind. If we look at a custom tile shower, there's a shower niche, we have a Euro glass enclosure, we've got at least one shower head, one handheld, multiple grab bars, and a seat. This is a twenty-five dollars to $35,000 shower. Hopefully I've been able to give you a general idea of how much your project might cost. If you still feel like you have an unanswered question, go to our website and check out our Learning Center. There you'll be able to read blog articles that go into more depth about specific materials and selections that you can add to your project. If you feel like you're ready to begin your remodeling journey with Custom Built, you can book a discovery call with one of our project development advisors on our website as well. I'm Jacob, thanks for watching.